If adrenaline is the most incredible molecule in biology, and I do believe it is for its capacity to immediately grab our attentional systems and our readiness systems, dopamine is perhaps the second place winner there, but still a significant one. You know, there's this incredible experiment that's been done in animals and humans that really illustrates what dopamine does. You take two rats, and they've done this with people in naturally occurring situations, and you put rats next to some delicious water, like they like water with sucrose in it, or a delicious food, and, you, and the rats will reach up and drink that or eat that food. One of the rats, it turns out, doesn't even have neurons that make dopamine, or all their dopamine is blocked by the injection of a drug. Turns out they will indulge in that food just fine, just like the one that has plenty of dopamine. So uh, just to just to make sure I'm tracking, so you got two rats. Yep, separate one cages. One of them has, their dopamine has been blocked. Correct. But at this point, they're both just eating the sugary, drinking the sugary water, just everything's fine. Yep, tastes good and they experience pleasure. Both of them experience pleasure. Proof that dopamine is not required to experience pleasure. Now you do a simple experiment. You simply move the location of the food or water one rat length away from the rat. And guess what? <laughs> the rat with its dopamine walks over and eats the food. It might even cross a little metal plate where it gets an electrical shock. But you know, it's hungry and it wants to eat, so it'll take the, z the zap and do it. The rat without dopamine won't even walk one rat's length <laughs> to get its dopamine, even if the food is laid out on the floor for it. <laughs> dopamine is not the molecule of pleasure, it is the molecule of motivation, desire, and pursuit. 